the majority of animals that come through here are hedgehogs uh, in the cages behind you. Um, we do rescue other wildlife as well, but hedgehogs seem to have become our thing. We've had a lot, of, a lot of hedgehogs through here this year, and they're still coming in. Um, uh, as you've seen, um, we've had a hedgehog in today. There's another one due in shortly. They're still coming in, um, and they've still got issues, and they're going to have issues throughout the winter. So yeah, hedgehogs seems to be our thing. They are very complicated creatures with a lot of susceptibilities, um, internal parasites of a variety of different sorts, um, and the way the world is going with the warmer, damper conditions. It's just a, it's, it's just a growing ground for these parasites, and they are suffering with them, and they, they do kill them. And you see a, a vast range of, obviously, illnesses and injuries, but on a more positive note, you've gained a vast amount of knowledge from, mm. from a variety of people that's allowing you to nurse these hedgehogs behind me back out into the wild. We use information from the Vale Wildlife Hospital to help us make decisions, to help us diagnose things as a, as a guideline for the care of the hedgehogs and also as a guideline for what medications we're going to give and in what quantities. For you personally, why did you feel the need to act for these hedgehogs? Why did you want to take this on? You said in at the deep end, why did you do you want to take that on and make that part of Charlie's place? If, if I put a hedgehog in your hands, you'd fall in love with it instantly. They are the most fabulous little creatures. They're much maligned, they're much under threat, and they need help. Hedgehogs are nocturnal. If there is a hedgehog out during the day, it has a need. That need is usually caused by an issue, whether it's dehydration, whether it is there's just not enough food, whether the, the hunger is caused by internal parasites that are just robbing it of all its nutrients, um, whether it is being drained by the mange, uh, ringworm, whatever. If a, a, a hedgehog out during the day has an issue, best thing, best advice I can give to people is that hedgehog needs to be looked at by an experienced rescue. There's far more than just ourselves. There are lots and lots of very good rescues around. General rule of thumb, if a hog is out during the day, it has a need. Don't just put it in a box and feed it. Get it to a rescue. Let them look at it. If they take it on, they will sort it out. And you mentioned the phrase sorting it out. That's exactly what you guys aim to do and, and hope to do. And, and have had some yeah. success stories along the way. Yes, we have. We've taken hedgehogs from uh, tiny little soft spine hoglets. Um, they come to a sort of 50, 60 grams, tiny, tiny little things and got them up to release weight, which in the summer is a little bit lighter than the release weight for winter. Um, and we've seen them go on the way. And yeah, it's bittersweet because you fall in love with them and you're, you're gunning for them all the time. You, you get them through these horrible illnesses and parasite burdens and you're gunning for them and you, you want them to do well, but, but it's heartbreaking when they totter off and they don't look back. Uh, but we have a, a very good team of friends who have release sites, um, whether it's their garden or somewhere else they know, and they monitor them, they film them, they use wildlife cameras to film them, and they send us the footage, which is fantastic. So yeah, rehabilitation and release is the key to this. The, the end goal isn't always achieved, and as I said, sometimes there's a few tears shed when that animal does disappear. But, you know, whether it's ducklings that we've taken in from, you know, brand new day old ducklings and we release them onto a, onto a lake or whether it's pheasants being released, having been hand reared. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the satisfaction is a byproduct. It's not, it's not the end goal. The end goal is the, is the release. For anybody watching who perhaps wants to know more, wants your assistance, wants to get in touch, how do they do that? Uh, they can use email. Um, we, we have an email address, which is thisischarliesplace at hotmail.com. Uh, they can contact us using the Facebook page. Uh, there is a, an Instagram page. Um, so if you, if you just search on Facebook and Instagram for Charlie's Place, you'll find us.